Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over the print range feature. Now, print ranges can be great for situations where you just need to print a section of your schedule. Maybe it's just a range of days or dates or sheets or scenes. It can also be useful if you want to print a selected group of strips. Maybe a selected group of strips that have a specific element in it such as an actor. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so with my schedule open, I'm going to go up to File, Print View, and the Print View dialog box pops up, and we have this range selector down at the bottom. Now, uh, this is the same in Reports and also in Images. We Those tabs have the range selector also. It's the same for all three tabs, so I'm just going to demonstrate it in the strips just to be a little bit simpler. And uh, by default, all is selected, so it's going to print everything when you go to print. But uh, we have all these different options here, days, dates, scenes, and selected. I'll show selected in just a bit, but an easy example of how this works is to select days. So I'm going to select days, and so for example, you can say I want to print from day 4 to day 10. And then I just click view to get a print preview, and as you can see, it has day 4, 5, 6, 7, it can go to the next page, 8, 9, and 10. And then it stops. So it's just going to print the days that you want. Now, if uh, a good example of how this can be really beneficial is, let's say you're on day 15, and you don't want to print any of the previous days, but you want to print the rest of the schedule. Well, I can actually just leave the 2 blank, and it'll just print from day 15 on. So I can click view, and as you can see, it starts with day 15, and it keeps going until the end of the schedule. So, that's a good brief example of how this works, and that works for reports and images also, like I said. And that will go with dates. You can print certain dates, certain scenes, a range of scenes or a range of sheets. Uh, one of the more powerful things, though, is selected. Now, for this to work, what it's going to print is what is selected on the strip board. So if I close this real quick, right now I only have this one strip selected, but I could select a group of strips and it'll just print those selected strips. But how this can be really beneficial is if I go up to something like Edit, Find, and I'm going to go to Find Advanced, and I'm going to add an operator here, and let's say I need to print all the scenes that have a specific cast member in it to give them information. So I'm going to go with the cast member equal to, let's say, Mary. And then I'm going to look in the strip board. So make sure strip board is selected in the look in drop down in here and hit find all. So right now it's gone through the entire schedule and found all the strips with Mary in it. So with those still selected, without touching anything here, I can go up to File, Print View, and have Selected uh, as the range, and click View. And it's go just going to print out those selected strips. Now because it doesn't have a Daybreak selected, it's not going to include Daybreaks in there. So uh, another way you can view that information is in Reports. So I can do a shooting schedule with just the selected strips, include day breaks. I'm going to say keep records on one page so it doesn't span a page. And I can click view. And what it'll do is it'll only print out information that contains Mary in it. So it'll only include scenes that include Mary in this entire report. So that can be really helpful if you're trying to give out information on a specific element. So hopefully that helps you understand how to get more specific information out of your schedule. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or do you just want to send us some feedback? You can send that to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page. There's ways there to follow us on Twitter, or friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.